All right, in many statistical tests that we have talked about so far, such as t-test, ANOVA, Pearson correlation, and linear regression, uh, they were based on normality assumption of data. These tests are also known as parametric tests, and you should ensure normality of data before running these tests. Otherwise, your interpretations would not be valid. If the normality assumption couldn't be met, you should either use transformations, such as either taking log transformation or a square root transformation, that may lead to normality. Otherwise, you have to use non-parametric alternatives, which is the topic for next video. So in this video, we will learn how we can check normality assumption in R using visual techniques and also statistical tests. Keep in mind that you should uh, confirm normality using multiple tests since each technique has its own limitations. So we will use a combination of visual techniques and statistical tests. Also, it should be noted that according to central limit theorem, for a sufficiently large sample size, sampling distribution approximates a normal distribution. So to visually check the normality of a variable, we can use histogram or density curve, which is made based on histogram, and also quantile, quantile, or QQ plot. For histogram or density curve, uh, it doesn't have to be perfectly bell-shaped like this. An approximately normal distribution is also sufficient. Another technique which I personally prefer to density curve is using QQ plot, which is based on the correlation between uh, your sample and the normal distribution. This graph is also preferred to histogram when you have a small sample size. So uh, in this graph, a uh, 45 degree uh, reference line is also plotted. If the points uh, fall approximately here, for example, approximately fall along the reference line so we can assume normality because it's a, there is a high correlation between your data and also the normal your theoretical normal distribution but here so if you look at the uh, reference line so there is not a high correlation between your data and the normal distribution so this one doesn't show a normally distributed data so uh, to better understand this concept let's see an example in R Okay, so let's open up RS Studio, and uh, in RS Studio, first of all, let's uh, make a command that the purpose of this study is to check uh, the normality of a variable. Okay, so how we can do that? Um, the, we are going to use uh, a package in R, which is called ggpubr package. If you haven't already installed the ggpop R package in your computer, uh, you need to use uh, install. So we will install the uh, ggpop R package. Okay, so if you haven't already done that, you need to install, use the install.packages. And here within the uh, quotation, you have to type the name of that ggpop R. And then click run, okay? So it may take a few minutes to run this package. So after that, uh, after you install the package, you need to load the package using library command. And then uh, don't need to mention the quotation, just mention the name of the package, which was uh, ggpubr, okay? And then click run. So this package allows uh, you to create very pretty ggplot2-based graphs for non-advanced R user. So uh, we will use built-in data set in R. Okay, so uh, let's load the data. So we will use data and then open and close parentheses, which are the built-in data set in R. So one of them is called uh, sleep, which is a student's sleeping time. So we want to use uh, within the quotation, we will type sleep. And then here, if you run that code, uh, if you run this line, you will see that. So sleep is a data of the 20 records of data for 20 students. And uh, this column, extra column, shows you the effect of a specific drug in increasing the sleeping hours. Okay, so we, uh, some of them, after having the drug, uh, it increased. 
their sleeping hour for some of them it decreased their sleeping hour so we would like to see whether the uh, this variable extra sleeping follows a normal distribution or not okay so uh, to do that first of all we would like to create a density curve okay so we want to create a density curve for the for this specific variable okay so the command that we will use is called gg density and then we will from the sleep uh, we will select the extra okay and then click run it will create a density curve as i already mentioned uh, it is unlikely that your curve produces a perfectly smooth curve or bell-shaped curve especially when your sample size is very small but it seems like the distribution is almost normal okay so let's make this uh, plot a little bit nicer so we can add a uh, mean and also we can uh, add uh, fill use a uh, using a uh, gray color for to fill this uh, density curve okay so now if you run the this line of code you will see that so this one is a mean of the values and here is a, a gray color to fill this graph so it seems like so using the density curve it is hard to you know uh, understand whether the distribution is normal or not so the next one uh, is using the qq plots so uh, the function here for to create the uh, uh, qq plot is uh, it is called gg qq plot and then if you put the variable which was asleep and then uh, extra so if you run this line of code so uh, as you can see uh, from this qq plot so your data uh, which uh, are so your samples are y axis and your uh, normal distribution for is in the theoretical normal distribution in the x axis so it compares your sample with normal distribution and it shows that there is a high correlation between your sample and normal distribution because your sample uh, the data are very close to this reference line and it shows that there is a high correlation between these two and in, it indicates normality in the data Okay, so uh, visual inspection is not very reliable, however, it's necessary. So uh, we need to perform a statistical test to compare your sample distribution with a normal distribution. So in this video, we will uh, talk about a couple of commonly used normality tests. Remember, for all of these tests, the null hypothesis states that uh, the sampling distribution is normal, while alternative hypothesis states that it's not normal. So to ensure normality assumption, the desired result is that when you fail to reject the null hypothesis. So in other words, when your p-value is larger than 0.05 at 95% confidence level. So uh, the most commonly used normality check tests are Shapiro-Wilk test and Kolmogorov-Smirnov. Uh, Shapiro test, uh, Shapiro-Wilk test are commonly used for continuous data, however, there are two limitations. If your data contain many equal values, which are also called ties, or uh, when your sample size is very small. So another commonly used test is uh, Kolmogorov-Smirnov test, or simply it's called KS test, which is also used for continuous data. But most statisticians believe that um, it has less statistical power than Shapiro-Wilk test. So, to run this test in R, we can simply use a uh, built-in function in R, okay? So let's make a command, and we want to use Shapiro uh, Wilk test, okay? So it's very simple, Shapiro, so if you just type Shapiro test, and then put your data, which was sleep, and then uh, we selected extra, okay? So when you run the test, it gives you, so first of all, it's the test statistic, which is shown with W. So it's very close to one. And if you look at the p-value, the p-value is uh, greater than 0 0.05. And uh, it indicates that the distribution is not statistically different from normal. So we failed to reject the null hypothesis, which is good. 
So uh, remember that you cannot say that we accept the null hypothesis. You can say that we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So uh, which means that uh, the distribution is not different from normal distribution. And uh, the other test, uh, which was KS test. So KS dot test. And uh, if you put your, so you need to have your Y variable. So there are two variables. The, the first variable is your data, which is a sleep extra. The other variable is normality distribution, normal distribution, okay? So in that case, so you have to use P norms because you're comparing that with the uh, normal distribution, okay? So I will use P norm here and then you can run the test. So it's not based on just X. So if you run it based on X, you will get an error. So now if you run the test, you will notice that, uh, first of all, there are ties in your data. So if you look at your data, definitely a couple of them uh, have the same values. Okay, for example, I can see that the 20s observation is 3.4 and number six is also 3.4. So there are ties in the data. That's why we got a warning in the KS test. And also if you look at the p-value, p-value is significant, which means that the, the distribution is not normal according to the KS test. So that's why we need to use, uh, we need to conduct uh, other tests as well. So as I mentioned, you shouldn't rely on one approach for uh, normality check. You should definitely use uh, visual techniques, for example, QQ plots or density curve and also statistical tests. For a statistical test, there are multiple tests. These are the most important or the most important uh, or the widely used test in, uh, in R at least. So the first one is Anderson Darling, the other one is Kramer one Mises, the other one is Lily Force test, Shapiro Frankia, uh, Pearson chi square. So we want to run all of these tests in R. And uh, again, the null hypothesis says that all of them, the distribution is normal. So we have to fail to reject the null hypothesis. So uh, let's uh, run the test in R programming language. So for running all of these tests, we need, uh, because R doesn't have a built-in command, so uh, we will uh, use NOR test package, okay? So again, we need to install uh, dot packages using uh, NOR test, normality test, and then run. And after that, after you're done with this package, after you're running this package, you have to load this package. So using library and then nor test, okay? So uh, don't forget to run this library code as well. And so here, after you install it, you can, you know, you can make this to command, okay? So because we don't want to run this again, if you just run it one time, if you install the package one time, that will be enough. So the first one is Anderson Darling. So we will use AD. So let me uh, make some space. AD dot test. So Anderson Darling, and then uh, sleep and extra. So if you run this test, you will see that Anderson Darling normality test. So the test of statistics is A. The p value again, you can see that it fails to reject null hypothesis, and uh, so which is good. The second one uh, was Kramer one uh, Mises, which is CVM dot test. And again, if you let me copy this one CVM and then run the test, you can see that again, it fails to reject the null hypothesis. Uh, the next one is uh, Lily Force test, which is L I L L I E dot test. And then the variable sleep extra. So you can again see that Lily Force uh, normality test is also uh, not significant, which is good, which means that we failed to reject the null hypothesis. Uh, the next one was uh, Shapiro Frankia, which is SF dot test. And for this variable, if you run the test, you will see that again, it's not, it shows that uh, we couldn't reject the null hypothesis. And the last one is Pearson chi-square. And if you type Pearson the test and then uh, your variable, and if you run this line, you will see that Pearson chi-square normality test is not significant 
which means that we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So since all of these tests, uh, in, for all of these tests, we fail to reject the null hypothesis, we can conclude that the distribution is not significantly different from normal. So, so we can uh, run the, I don't know, if you have the, if you want to run the t-test, for example, we can use uh, this data because the normality assumption is all, almost uh, met. Again, if uh, your data couldn't, if in your data you couldn't guarantee normality, you should either use transformations, for example, use log transformation or square root transformation that may lead to normal distribution. Otherwise, if you couldn't um, ensure normality in your variable, uh, you have to use non-parametric tests, which is a topic for the next video.